Do you want to know how to pass CMS Pharmacology for ATI? All right, guys, just keep watching. So, welcome back to my channel, you guys. My name is Andrea Phoenix. Um, nice to meet you. If you're new, click that subscribe button down below. Leave me comments, likes. Um, let me know what you guys are doing and uh, where you are at. Um, in your nursing journey, I would love to know where you guys are. I'm almost done with mine, and so I'm going to share with you how I passed ATI um, CMS for pharmacology. I got a level two. I did not get a level three. That's okay. I'm going to tell you how you can pass anyway and get the best score that you can. So for me, I honestly did not study too much for this test, like in one sitting. I personally studied throughout school like as soon as they started pharmacology for me um with my school I started studying I tried to do note cards and I used my Saunders book for MP I will link it um down below and I will also put it um on um that helps a lot to get you um, to really comprehend what you're learning with the pharmacology and how it entails into the diseases or the situations that the meds are needed in. Also, I used Made Incredibly Easy a Pharmacology Book. Um, again, I'm sorry, I don't have any of the physical books. I'm not at my house um, for a little while. CMS, um, Content Mastery series book that you actually study from for pharmacology is super detailed and it's very condensed and so it's kind of hard at least for me to be able to memorize everything that you need to know about the medications that you're giving to your patient so when we went over specific diseases or specific medications in class with whatever we we're learning i made a point to go and learn those and try to keep them and commit them to memory so it wasn't so much at the end when the CMS test actually came. So I studied beforehand for pharmacology so I would suggest to do that because it helps a ton so you don't have to cram and then you get all your medications mixed up and some sound alike, some look alike. Also with the CMS, obviously all the CMSs, they thrive on that communication factor with your patient and what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to talk to them. So really learn your communication and learn how to do all of that stuff because um, it's in pharmacology too. There's also math, so know how to do your dosage calculations and even your IV drip rates because I think I got two questions on that. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. But I think that's what I did. Um, the very last thing that I always, always use for CMSs that help me so much are the adaptive quizzes, guys. The adaptive quizzes in your ATI, um, testing portal, quiz bank, uh, question bank. They have so many. I think they have like 400 questions on pharmacology alone not to mention the other subjects so I would definitely 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 if you do nothing else of what I said is do the adaptive quizzes because honestly that's all I did for the fla the couple days before my CMS test all I did I literally did only 50 questions I don't recommend doing 50 I recommend doing all of them like I should have but I did not prioritize my time very well for that. So adaptive quizzes, I only did 50 questions and I passed with the level two, uh, which I was happy about, of course. But if you want that level three or the very pinnacle of what you can get, do what I suggested and start early if you can. And you guys will do amazing. Let me know how you guys do in the comments below. I am very excited for you guys. I'm so glad you're in your nursing journey. I want to help you guys. I want to hear how you guys are doing and go how it's going. Um, I just love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.